in this video we will discuss about multiplexer circuits and how to write VSDL code for 4 is to 1 marks. Let us first discuss about what is meant by marks. As you all know, multiplexer is a combinational circuit that has many inputs and it allows only one input to reach at output at any instant of time. In short, it accepts many inputs and it produces only a single output. Now the decision of which input should be connected to the output is taken by select lines. Therefore, ultimately we can have a set of input lines as well as a set of select lines. Now this select lines depends upon how many input lines are there. For example, in this case we have four input lines. So we will have two select lines. Two square is going to be four. Similarly, if I come across 4 is to 1 marks, I can accept 4 input lines starting with D0, D1, D2, D3 and we will put one output line as Y and there will be two select lines namely S1 and S0. Now this is going to be the schematic for 4 is to 1 marks. Coming back to its truth table, we have two input terms that are nothing but select lines S1 and S0 and a single output line Y. Now if we have two select lines, there will be four combinations like first combination as 0, 0. Now if the select lines are 0, 0, it allows D0 to be connected across Y. Therefore, Y will be connected with D0. Similarly, when it appears as 0, 1, Y is connected with D1. 1, 0, Y will be connected with D2. And in case of 1, 1, Y will be connected to D3. So this is going to be the truth table for 4 is to 1. Now based on this truth table, we have derived an expression for 4 is to 1 marks that is written as y is equal to first case. So the first combination we have s1 as 0 and s0 as 0. As both are 0 we can write it as complementary s1 bar s0 bar into d0. Plus second condition we have s1 as 0 so it is written as s1 bar s0 is 1 which is uncomplementary s0 into d1. Plus next combination s1 is 1 so it is written as s1 s0 bar d2. And in the last case, both are 1, 1, so it is written as S1, S0 into D3. So this is going to be an expression for 4 is to 1 marks. Now, in this case, we will we will write a VHDL code using data flow style of modeling. We will start with the same statements as defining the library term IEEE. We will use that library term with standard package logic 1164. And from that, all the components, we are written the extension as dot all. Entity name is mux4 is to 1 is and coming back to its port we have four input terms d0 d1 d2 d3 they are going to be input standard logic s1 and s0 input standard logic now instead of writing s1 and s0 even if you write s with a vector input standard logic vector 1 down to 0 it will be accepted and a single output as y which is going to be our standard logic we'll end the entity term and now we'll come across writing the architecture so the statement becomes architecture, data flow style of modeling, we are use concurrent statements. So we have written concurrent of entity name is mox4 is to 1 is. Once it is over, we will initialize it using begin statement. And now we will write the expression y should be less than or equals to. In first case, we have s1 bar s0 bar d0. So it can be written as not s1 and with not s0 and with d0. So it will generate s1 bar s0 bar into d0 or that means for plus sign. Next we have s1 bar s0 d1 so it is written as not s1 it is and with s0 and with d1 so it becomes s1 bar into s0 into d1 plus we will use or get. Next we have s1 s0 bar into d2 so it is written as s1 and with not s0 and with d2 or the last case s1 and with s0 and with d3. So based on these terms, we have written an expression for 4 is to 1 marks. Now while writing the statements, always make sure that if you are using a component, it should be in a bracket terms. For example, S1 bar, so we have written in bracket not S1 and remaining terms as it is. Finally, we will end the architecture. So this is going to be the VHDL code for 4 is to 1 marks using data flow style of modeling. In next video, we will see the same using case statements. Thank you.